day that the Lord has made. Amen. And we do rejoice and we are glad in it. We thank the Lord. Amen. For his goodness today, for his manifold blessings. Amen. And as David said, I will bless the Lord, uh, my, the God of my strength, you know, who teaches my hands to war and my fingers to fight. Amen. We're in a fight, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, we may not be willing participants in it, but if, if you name the name of Christ, you're in a fight. And uh, if, you're, if you don't name the name of Christ, you're still in a fight because the word of God tells us that the enemy, Satan the dragon, is going about as a roaring lion seeking whom he may destroy. So you may be an unwilling participant in this fight, but nonetheless, you are in a fight. Amen. And it's a fight for your soul. It's a fight uh, to determine where you will spend eternity. Amen. This is Brother Williams, and uh, I just want to uh, bring forth a short message uh, today concerning the harvest. You know, there are people in this world, people that are hurting, people are um, scared, people are wondering what in the world is going on, you know, with, with all of the strange events and things that are happening in our world today, people are really, uh, you know, in a fix, so to speak. And so the Lord has given us this, uh, this duty to show men and to teach men and to tell men what is going on in the world so that they uh, will have an understanding and will hopefully uh, surrender their hearts to the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So if you have your word, uh, we want to begin at the book of Luke chapter 10 and uh, be reading verses 1 through 3. So in the book of Luke chapter 10 verses 1 through 3 we read, After this the Lord appointed 72 others and sent them on ahead of him, two by two, unto every town and place where he himself was about to go. And he said to them, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Amen. This is the point right here. He said the harvest is plenteous. So ladies and gentlemen, as I was saying, there's, there's many people in this world that um, are afraid. Many are, are concerned about the things that are going on. Some of them don't even understand or realize what's going on. In our world, but he said, but Jesus said that the harvest is very, very plentiful. You know, <laughs> pastors and, and leaders of churches, you don't have to worry about or fight over, you know, trying to get me members in, in your church because Jesus said the harvest is plentiful. Amen. There are plenty to go around. Uh, but the thing about it, we have to be able to speak to people and reach people with the with the gospel of the kingdom of God. And so the Lord wants us to go out into the harvest and to compel men to come in. You know, once you deliver the word to them, it is up to them uh, to choose the Lord or to continue to walk in their ways. So Jesus sent his disciples out and he said that the harvest is plentiful. But then he said this, but the laborers are few. Amen. The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, do you want to be a laborer in the harvest of the Lord? Amen. Surely you should want to be. And, you know, some may say, well, I can't speak that well. I don't know the Bible um, 
verse by verse and, and different things of this nature. But, you know, you don't really have to be an uh, expert in all of that. Jesus, when he healed the man that were that was uh, 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 possessed by the legion of demons and the man wanted to follow Jesus. But Jesus said, no, you go back and you tell what God has done for you. That is being a witness, ladies and gentlemen. If you can just tell somebody what Jesus Christ has done for you, amen, you are a laborer in the harvest of God. And that is what he is calling his people to do, is to be laborers in this harvest. To go and tell men about the goodness of God, to tell them that there is hope and that the situation that they are in, they don't have to remain in that situation. It looks bad now, but it doesn't have to stay bad for them uh, throughout their lives. God has a perfect plan uh, for their lives. Be a witness. Tell men of the goodness of God. And then Jesus said this. Therefore, pray earnestly to the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Amen. If you don't feel as if you are equipped to be in the harvest, then you can do this. You can pray to the to the father, the Lord of the harvest, that he would send forth laborers into his harvest. Amen. That's another work. Amen. That all of us can do that are naming the name of Christ. We can pray, Lord, send forth laborers into your harvest. Send forth people, Father God, that is hearing the spirit, the voice of the spirit, and that will tell men of, uh, about you, that will warn men of the dangers that are coming upon this world. Amen. And that, I believe that's what Paul said, whom we preach, Jesus Christ, warning every man and teaching every man that we may present every man blameless, amen, before the Lord. So everybody's not going to receive, amen, the word of God. Jesus spoke about this when he spoke about the seed and, and the different ground that the seed fell upon. Amen. So the seed is the word of God. And once you uh, give the word of God out, the people, would, you know, it depends on what type of ground they are. Some will receive it and grow. But some will receive it for a minute and then they will fall back into the world. But that's not our responsibility. The responsibility that we have as ministers of the gospel of Jesus Christ, as being born again and having the Holy Spirit, is to be a witness and to tell men about Jesus Christ. So this is what the Lord Jesus said to pray. He said to pray earnestly to the Lord or the Father of the harvest, amen, that he would send forth laborers into his harvest. Amen. There's something about praying according to the will of God that gets things done. You see, a lot of time we pray, but we're not praying according to the will of God. We pray according to our desires and what we would like to have. But Jesus said to pray to the Lord of the harvest, that he would send forth laborers and to his harvest. This is a prayer that the Lord uh, will answer. And this is why, like I say, sometimes we are defeated uh, in our prayers because we're not praying according to the word of God. Sometimes we pray against the will uh, and the word of God. But if we pray according to his will, as it says in the book of John, 1 John 5, 14, and this is the confidence that we have toward him. He said that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. If we ask anything that is according to his will, he hears us. Amen. So remember that, brothers and sisters, we want to pray according to the will of the father. Amen. If we pray according to his will, we'll be more fruitful in our prayers and our prayers will be answered from the Lord. Amen. So I just want to thank you. Amen. For uh, taking your time to listen. Amen. And ask the Lord to send forth laborers into his harvest. The harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. 
So, Father, we pray, Lord, that you would send forth laborers into your harvest, O God. And let that laborer be me. Let that laborer be you. Amen. As we open up our mouth and tell the world about the goodness of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Because the world is not ashamed of their sin and they are flaunting it in your eyes. They're flaunting it before your children's eyes. They're not afraid. They're not ashamed. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, I say to you right now, let us not be ashamed. Let us stand boldly for the Lord Jesus Christ and proclaim him to a dying world, a perverted world that needs to be saved. This is Brother Williams. Thank you, amen, for your time. Amen. And God bless you. Until next time. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.